Gertrude, here, baby, here's a cracker. <laughs> I would give you some clam dip, but I don't want you munching on your cousins. Hi, <laughs> Chief. Hi. Mom and Pop here yet? Oh, no, I think your mother's making some last minute adjustments to her polygrip. <laughs> well, where's my lockbox? I want to put away my gun. Oh, yeah, that. Well, see, let me tell you what happened. You know how I'm short and I can't reach up there, you know? So I saw your box, I said, hey, stand on it, and I didn't, there it is. Now, what am I supposed to do with my gun? <laughs> Chief, I have waited years for you to ask me that question. Lock it away in the upstairs closet. Don't forget to tell the moths that it's loaded. <laughs> Ooh! Smell. Smell me. Too much perfume? Too little? Baby, tonight you don't have to worry about mosquitoes or flies. <laughs> Hi, Samantha, where are you going? I'm gonna take a quick dip in Miller's Pond. Miller's Pond? That swamp? It's full of bugs and frogs and snakes. Yeah, it's great. Want to come? <laughs> Not on your life. But you used to come with me. Well, I'm through with Miller's Pond. Last time I went, I got a turtle in my tank top. <laughs> Besides, I've got a date tonight. It's the most important date of my whole, whole life. Who's it with? I don't know. <laughs> Katie's boyfriend, Todd, fixed me up. We're double dating. Oh, double dating. You know, I used to always hate going on double dates. It just always gets so crowded with four people in the back seat. <laughs> I'm sorry, Squirt. I just can't make it. That's OK. I'll just go with Debbie Jo. Now she's doing it again. Doing what, hon? That imaginary friend thing. I think she's got a few toys loose in her attic. Her name is Debbie Jo, and she's my friend, so don't make fun of her. Hey, you two. Three, you forgot Debbie Jo. You mean, um, she's here now? Yep. Yeah, okay. She's here in this room? It was you, Samantha. It. it was not. It was Debbie Jo. She can't stand geeks. Stop. Come on. Hey, 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 what's going on? Dad, her nutsy imaginary friend is back. Samantha, honey, I asked you not to play that game. It's not a game, Dad. Debbie Jo's real. She's just like us. Only she's invisible and she never grows up. Well, no wonder. It's hard to eat when you can't see where your mouth is. <laughs> Forget it. You're not going anywhere. Daddy, what are you talking about? They brought a van. <laughs> I was young once, you know. <laughs> I know what goes on in those reclining seats. Chief, when you were young, they had wicker seats. <laughs> and the only time they reclined was when the horse fell on top of them. <laughs> Dave doesn't even have reclining seats. Yeah, he took them out to make room for a waterbed. <laughs> Shut up, nutso. And he has a bumper sticker that says, honk if you want some. Shh. 
Well, I'll get him a honk that'll rattle his back teeth. Daddy, please don't embarrass me. Daddy, this is the most important date of my whole life. Please don't spoil it. You gotta let me go. No. Daddy, please. Please. Oh, Daddy, please. I think I'm gonna barf. <laughs> Come on, Chief, let them go. You can always follow them in your squad car. And if you get suspicious, you can always shoot a hole in the waterbed. Daddy, if you let me go, I'll spit shine your shoes every night for a month. I'll spit shine your socks. Your feet. Please, Daddy. All right, go ahead. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Oh! Katie, I broke your heel. Oh, Julie! Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, Ty. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Come on in, you guys. <laughs> Excuse me a second. Is that guy mine? Yeah. He's gorgeous! <laughs> Well, where's the one I usually get? You know, the short guy with glasses and zits? Uh, Julie, this is Dave. Hi, I'm Julie Kaniski. I'm Dave. He talks, too. <laughs> Say something else. Why is one side of you higher than the other? It's not me. The house is on the side of a hill. Uh, Dad, you remember Todd, and this is Dave. Hi. Why you got a water bed in your van? Oh, and this is my little sister, Samantha, and Nell. Hi. Wait a minute. Aren't you forgetting somebody? No, 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 we're not, no. Yeah. You forgot to introduce Debbie Jo. Samantha? She has feelings, too. She doesn't even have skin. How the hell can she have feelings? Don't listen to him, Debbie Jo. Am I missing something? Samantha, your grandma and grandpa will be here any minute. Go on upstairs and wash your face. Okay, Dad. Come on, Debbie Joe. Last one up is a rotten egg. Wow. Talk about Flip City. Look, I, uh, I just work here. You know, I'm not related to these people at all. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to her. It's just a little game she plays. You know, imaginary friend. <laughs> Good night, Dad. Good night, Daddy. Thank you. Right. Have a kind of nice night. <laughs> We're gonna have to get Samantha a shrink. A shrink, Chief? Come on. She's just a little girl who's pretending to have an imaginary friend. Will someone get that? Right. Hey, will somebody get that? <laughs> She's parking the car. Mildred, back it up a little. Yeah, you got about a foot. Got about a foot. <laughs> got about a foot. Come in, Pop. Yeah, what's that? I said come in. Oh, in, yes, yes. Come on, I want you to have some of my clam dip. You're gonna strip. Where's my glasses? Where's my glasses? Where's my glasses? Okay, let her rip. Okay. Oh, everything's fine. We're insured. <laughs> Where are the girls? Well, Samantha will be down in a minute. Julie and Katie are out on a date. With each other? <laughs> no, Pop, with boys. A date with boys. My, how time flies. It seems like only yesterday little Kate was running around here with a diaper in her hand. <laughs> we could never get her to keep her pants on. <laughs> Well, I hope you talk to her about that. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandpa. Hello, Hi, Grandma. Hey, stand back. Watch out. Debbie Jill's gonna slide down the railing. <laughs> that was terrific. Wasn't that terrific? I didn't see a thing. <laughs> Just my 
hold up my eyes, conk out on the night before Nell strips. Believe me, you're okay. I mean, she's just playing a little little game. Yeah, come on over here by the dinner, sir. Yeah, let's sit good. down. I'm huh? starving. Well, good, Mom. I hope you like turkey. I love turkey. Well, you're gonna get plenty of it. Here, sit down here, Mom. All right. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Sonny. Dig in, folks. Where am I gonna sit? In your seat, honey. I can't. Debbie Joe's sitting there. You know, everything's going on. First my eyes and my ears. Mildred, we better hop in the sack before everything goes. Pop, you're all right. Wait, Samantha, sit down. Joe, you can sit. Now, Samantha, I want you to stop that foolishness. You know what this reminds me of? Somebody else in the family whose elevator didn't go all the way to the top. There's nobody in our family like that. Oh, yes. Now, your brother Ralph? There's nothing wrong with my brother Ralph. Why was he in the loony bin? That was a rest home. That's right. They let all the loonies rest there. Now, Samantha, eat. Well, she can't eat yet. She needs some gravy. Oh, here, honey. I hope she likes Ghibli gravy. Here. Now, come on. We've been, been through humor in that kid. Give me that. No, she... Come on, give me... <laughs> All right, Samantha, now that's enough. Go up to your room. All right, Carl. We'll just dip our turkey in your shorts. <laughs> You're going to spend the rest of the night alone. Now, now, I don't care what you say. We've got to do something about that kid. I agree. Maybe you better go upstairs and calm her down, Debbie Joe. <laughs> well, I wish you could stay a little longer, Mom. Carl, talk to Samantha. You've got to nip this thing in the bud. Yeah, or she'll end up at the funny farm trying to milk chickens. <laughs> Stanley, when we get home, we're going to have a long talk about my brother Ralph. What's there to talk about? Ralph is a burnt-out bulb on the billboard of life. <laughs> I'll take care now. Night. All right, drive carefully. Don't worry, we're insured. <laughs> Where you going? Now, I got a daughter upstairs who's talking to the air. I got to do something about it. Chief, Chief you, you don't want to go up there. Well, why not? Debbie Joe's taking a nap. <laughs> Put a tutu on that man and he'll be just like original gone. I don't care what he does, Debbie Joe. He's not going to take you away from me. Debbie Joe, what are you doing? Don't look in my treasure chest. You're my best friend, but you still shouldn't be looking in that stuff. It's all very personal. All the things that I love. Okay, you can see. Oh, no. It's Dad. You stay right on the bed and don't move. Who is it? It's me, your father. I know that. You can tell by my fingerprints. I don't have your fingerprints. You'll find them all over your fanny if you don't open this door. <laughs> Samantha, I came up here to tell you once and for all, Debbie Joe does not exist. How do you know? Because I can't see her. If you can't see someone, they don't exist. What about God? Well, God is different. He exists. How do you know? I've seen pictures of him. <laughs> Old guy, 75, 80, Caucasian, medium build. 
sitting on a throne with a spotlight in back of his head? Dad, those are paintings. Well, I admit actual photographs are pretty rare, but God's a pretty busy fella. He doesn't have time to sit around all day posing for pictures. He's, he's got miracles to do, rain to make, a lot of tough decisions. Who lives? Who dies? Who goes bald? Dad, I believe in God. The problem is, you don't believe in Debbie Joe. Look. It's all over our money. In God we trust. Not a word about Debbie Joe. <laughs> Dad, Debbie Joe plays with me. She likes the same things I do. She's my best friend in the whole world. You know, Samantha, you're the last one I expected to flip out on me like this. Your sisters, well, that's another story. <laughs> but you and I, we've always been on the same wavelength. We played catch together, we went to ball games, we watched Attack of the Killer Tomatoes six times. <laughs> Come here. Why don't you come sit on my lap like you used to before you got too big? Dad, I didn't get too big. Your lap got too small. <laughs> Samantha, please, why don't you give up your, your, your little friend here, huh? I can't. Will you remember that you wanted a dog? I'll buy you one. I'll buy you two dogs. I'll buy your dog to walk your dogs. <laughs> what do you say, huh, sweetheart? Dad, you're sitting on Debbie Joe's foot! Damn it, Samantha! <laughs> you need a head shrinker! There is no Debbie Joe. There never was and there never will be. Now, where did you say she was? Here? Huh? Here? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Huh? Hi, I'm Debbie Joe. Fly me! <laughs> <laughs> Debbie Joe, am I hurting you, huh? Uh, well, maybe you like this better, huh? Uh, your head is loose, huh? Well, let me tighten it up. Uh, it came off, huh? Here, here, have a leg and make a wish. No! Hey, you look tired, Debbie Joe. I'll get you a chair. Now you keep out of this, Nell. Not on your life. I want to talk to Samantha. Chief, listen. You set one foot inside of this room, and tomorrow's headlines are going to read, Beautiful black woman stumps white cop into yogurt. I hate him, Nell. I hate him. Don't say that. It's not true. Yes, it is. He's my own father, and he wants to send me to a head shrinker. I don't want to be a shrunken head. <laughs> I don't want to wind up hanging on a mirror in some guy's car. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, I don't think that's what he meant by head shrinker. You see, it's just another way of saying psychiatrist. Psychiatrist? But what would a psychiatrist do? Well, see, he fixes your head, and then he charges you an arm and a leg. <laughs> This really stinks. My own father thinks I'm crazy. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. Bet that's why Julie doesn't play with me. It's like she's not my sister anymore. Calling me names all the time. Sorry, squirt. Maybe later, nutso. She won't go swimming with me anymore or to the movies. She's always too busy chasing boys or stuffing Kleenex down her bra. <laughs> I see. So that's why Debbie Joe never grows up, isn't it? No, I'm talking about Julie, not Debbie Joe. Oh, but I think they're the same. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Debbie Joe's terrific. Julie's a jerk. <laughs> oh, my poor baby. Samantha, you know what's happening? You see, Julie is growing up, and now she's going out on dates. And you're hurt and you're angry because you feel like she's leaving you behind. 
That's not it. Yes, it is. No, it's yes. not. Yes. It's pretty crummy. I wouldn't do it to her. But honey, Judy can't help it. Look, she's just growing up. Everybody has to grow up, you know. You can't steal a kid forever. But I'm all alone. I need Debbie Jo. She's all I've got. Baby, as long as you have Debbie Jo, you can't have your father, you can't have your sisters, and you can't have me. Honey, you got to go out and you got to find some new friends, some real friends. If you stay in that fantasy world too long, pretty soon you just won't be able to tell which world is which. What am I supposed to do? Well, you tell her to go. Tell Debbie Jo to go. What if she won't go? She will. Look, I'm going to leave you two alone for a while, OK? Sweetheart, if you really want her to go, and I mean you really want her to go, she will, OK? I'm sorry, Debbie Jo. But I think we're going to have to say goodbye now. It's not like I'm throwing you out or anything. You can live right here in my treasure chest. All my favorite things from my whole life are in here. Look it. Stevie Margolis gave me this tooth after I knocked it out of his mouth with a slap shot. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain. But I don't think we're going to be able to play anymore. It's not that I don't love you. Don't cry, Debbie Jo. You won't be all alone. See my mom's pictures in here. I know you're going to like my mom. She'll take real good care of you. I promise. You're really going to like her. She's the best mom that ever was. Especially if you're just a kid. I think I'm going to have to make some new friends now. I love you. <laughs> now <laughs> here I am, babe. Come here. Come. I am so proud of you, you know that. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, will somebody please fill me in? What's going on now? Nothing. You know, just woman talk. <laughs> oh. Well, don't stay up too late, huh? That'll get him every time. Come on, let's talk about some boys, honey. Come on. <laughs> 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 